So we continue with our fourth lesson, our fourth lesson on mass manners. And today we are going to look at the reception of the Holy Communion. The reception of the Holy Communion. The church gave us two options on how to receive the Holy Communion. One is by tongue, or you just open your mouth and stick out your tongue. And the second option is on your hand. So you make a throne for the Lord so that the priest or the minister will put the body of Christ on your hand. So these two options, they are all acceptable by the church. So you will not say that this is better than this. There is no better option in these two options. They are all good because we are receiving Christ. And what matters more than anything is our hearts. Our hearts will be pure to receive Christ. And it is the reception of the Holy Communion and not the taking of the Holy Communion. So by taking, I mean you do not take it from the minister. For instance, the minister will be saying the body of Christ and then you just take it. No, that is not a good way to receive the Holy Communion. Or the minister will say the body of Christ and you use your teeth to bite it and take it in. That is the wrong way to receive the Holy Communion. So you are actually receiving the Holy Communion and not taking it. So you don't boom or use your teeth to um, take it and put it in your tongue. When we are talking about the preparation of Mass, we made mention of our spiritual preparation. So we have to prepare ourselves spiritually and also physically. And part of the physical preparation is that we have to make sure that our hands are clean. Like, it has to be neat. It has to be clean. Because I have seen so many when I say dirty hands, I mean dirty hands. Disgusting. And I was like, oh my goodness, do you really know what you want to receive with this hand? Okay, now, your hand does not determine your heart. I agree with that. Your hand does not determine your heart. So these are two different things. But then, how would you receive the body of Christ on a dirty hand, but with a pure heart? So the two of them should be clean. That's my point. So also with our tongue. We should clean our tongues so that we don't receive Christ on a dirty tongue. And during the reception of the Holy Communion, there is always a dialogue between you and the minister, the body of Christ. It is expected, my dear brothers and sisters, that we respond, amen. It is expected that we respond, amen. It is very important that we respond, amen. It is a word, short, simple, but it is loaded with meaning. It is loaded with meaning. It means, I believe. It means, truly, I accept that this is the body of Christ. And so when we come to receive the Holy Communion, and the minister says, the body of Christ, if we do not respond, amen, two things will be there. One, the minister may be wondering if this person is a Catholic. 
And if this person is a Catholic, the minister will be wondering, probably, he is a non-practicing Catholic. So probably it has been a long time he or she came to Mass. Or the minister will be wondering, does this person believe that this is truly the body of Christ? So these are the two things that the minister will be wondering. I do wonder that, especially here. Not in our church, I mean, but partly in our church. Moving into the United States, you know, I understand that people do not respond. I was like wondering why. And it is important that we respond amen. And it is not amen. And then the priest will give it to you or the minister will give it to you. You will follow it up with thank you. No, don't thank anybody. Don't. Just receive it with amen and leave. There is no need to add thank you or cool. So that dialogue is very important, as I said. It is affirming our belief that this is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. By saying amen, we are accepting and affirming that this is truly the body and blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. And again, there has been this argument, should I kneel down to receive Holy Communion? Should I stand up to receive Holy Communion? Should I prostrate to receive Holy Communion? It doesn't really matter. If you are comfortable kneeling down, you kneel. If you are comfortable standing up, you stand. Fine. But now, take for instance. If you cannot kneel and you would like to kneel, now on kneeling down, fine, you kneeled down and then you wanted to get up and then you fell down, God will not be happy with you, I bet. No, he won't be happy with you because you should know your strength. You should know your bodily strength. So if you cannot kneel down, you better stand up. That's why we have those options. And it doesn't really matter. As I said, you are receiving Christ. Whether you are kneeling down or standing up or lying down. Now take, for instance, those who are lying down in the hospital. I mean, I go there for um, sick call. When I get there, I mean, I won't tell the person to stand or to sit or to kneel. I mean, you are lying down on your bed. I will give you the body of Christ, and that is the body of Christ. So your posture does not really matter. It matters, but it does not really matter. So do what you are comfortable with, and that will be fine. And finally... So this, sorry, I have to say this. This happens mostly during funerals. So you see that people come from here and there, and the deacon or the priest will always make the announcement, if you are not Catholic, please do not come for the Holy Communion. Just come for blessing. So, I mean, that's a very important announcement. And after that, you will see people who probably, they were Catholics or they forgot what to do. They will come, the body of Christ. First, they will not respond amen. And then probably the minister will remind them, say amen. They will say amen. Okay, you give them the body of Christ. And look what they do. They will just take the body of Christ and move. They will just go straight to their seat and see it. No, you don't have to do that. When you receive the body of Christ, you consume it. Just consume it. There is no need for you to walk into your pew or you sit down before you consume it. No, when you receive it, you consume it. So let's just um, look into that. And I know, I know that 
Those who are here, you are doing the right thing, I know. <laughs> so please, let those who are not doing the right thing learn the right thing from you. So if we get it right, everybody in our community, everybody in the Treasure Valley, we get it right. And everybody in the world, we get it right. May God bless you, keep you safe, and protect you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.